In 2015, my wife Erica was diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer. You know, the outlook wasn't good. Um, we always believed that God could heal, but we woke up every day with, you know, two goals, and that was to savor every moment we could as a family and to make it to tomorrow. Um, and that's what we did for almost five years. In December of 2019, uh, we were headed to visit Erica's family for Christmas up in Connecticut. Before we ever got on the plane, we knew something was wrong. We get to her parents' house, we, we get back to the bedroom, and we're sitting there, and she made me promise that, like, that I wouldn't, that I wouldn't take her to the emergency room um, until we had celebrated Christmas like she wanted to. And so we did. Uh, <laughs> we did all the traditions we had as a family, and we celebrated Christmas. That next morning, we woke up um, and headed to the hospital, and we spent the next 30 days in the hospital um, there in Connecticut. Um, her body just couldn't fight anymore. Um, everything was shutting down again, unless God stepped in and decided, you know, he was going to heal her. We knew that this was it. So we made the decision to call in hospice and we headed back to her family's house. And on February the 1st at 1 a.m. in the morning, my wife passed away. I don't know that there's anything harder that you could ever go through than losing a loved one, losing a wife, losing a child. But when I sit down and I reflect back on those five years, honestly, one of the, the things I always think about is I don't know how anyone could do this without a church family. You know, there was never a moment that I did not feel God's presence with me. And, and I, I contribute that all to the fact that you know, we were a part of a church body and there were so many other people uh, that were believing with us and praying for us you know, so many other things, um, you know, the meals that were made for us, um, the Christmas presents that were purchased for us, the furniture in our house that was purchased for us, the bills that people paid. You know, looking back, I think, not just for me, but also for my kids, being a part and seeing everything that our church family did throughout this time in our lives, like I feel like it even solidified in them, you know, the importance of being a part of a church family.